Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today playing some more classic racing games. Taking a look at uh, one of my personal favourites, Midtown Madness 3. Oh, how many hours I spent on, on this game just driving around. I don't actually remember the career mode particularly. I can't remember what you do in the career mode for this game. So I'm going to take a look at that. We'll come do some some single races and perhaps mess about in the free roam and, and so on. Yeah, I, don't, I genuinely don't remember the career mode. But uh, yeah, we're going to do the, the work undercover. Paris or Washington? Ooh, the choices. Um, sure, we'll start in, we'll start in France. Right, so you've got to go through... I'm assuming through these various drive missions. We're a delivery guy for our first bit, all the way down to special agent. That sounds exciting. Um, yes, we're, yeah, I get it. We're, we're delivery stuff. We're going to go and do some stuff. Uh, I don't really give a crap about the people talking. It's not the best voice acting in this game. I do remember that. Um, this is your morning route. Pick up parcels and deliver. So basically just kind of drive around all over the place. Oh, look at this amazing vehicle. We can have a, well, kind of a smart car. Yes, we shall drive a flea. Um, okay, let's, let's try, and, try and not crash it into everything. Now, this is the... It is very, very much an arcade. I had a quick go with a couple, a couple of the uh, the races earlier, just to or just to make sure everything was working, and just to remind myself, it's been such a long time since I've played this game. It is, uh, yeah, literally the most arcade game you'll probably ever play. I don't think you really have to, on the most part, worry about brakes. It's just kind of turn, and the cars have almost infinite levels of grip. They change directions so quickly. Uh, I'm okay, yeah, this is a, this is a little car, but it uh, changes direction crazy fast. Uh, we uh, seem to be racing against uh, another another little car. Oh crap, we've not got ourselves in the correct gear. The brakes are a little bit funny. I don't remember this ever being a thing before when I played it, but um, basically if you go on the brakes, it's very easy to lock everything up completely and then go wildly out of control. I also love how the, the parcels are just thrown out of the car. <laughs> just abandon them anywhere on the road. I would not be pleased if my parcels were delivered in that manner. You actually do have to be quite careful with the brakes. You can't really afford to uh, to lock stuff up, otherwise you get in trouble. Uh, oh, I thought we had to go for the box. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> thought we had to actually pick up the box. I thought I was going to get screwed over by an AI car, but no, apparently not. Uh, we seem to have more speed in our car. <laughs> I love the change of direction, it's crazy. We're going to go down this side of the road, because sure, why not? Uh, yeah, again, we just chucked, I think we actually pretty much just chucked the box at the car we were racing against there. Uh, for that delivery, that's totally, totally how it works. Yeah, never trust me as a delivery driver for anything. I wouldn't abandon it in the middle of the road while doing 70 miles an hour. Uh, we're actually getting some decent speed out of these little things, which is not bad for driving around the center of uh, center of Paris. I think the reason why, why I love this game is, okay, the, the cities aren't exactly the most detailed things, but they are... They're pretty good kind of road-wise, like actual graphics-wise, no, they're not particularly detailed, but actual kind of, like, the roads to go exploring around, despite not being, you know, the ultimate largest cities, they are actually uh, pretty... Uh, the, the roads, there's lots of alleyways, they're pretty interesting places to uh, to go driving around. You've got all sorts of different, uh, between Paris and, and Washington, all sorts of different roads to go exploring and things to, to crash into, inevitably crash into. Knowing me, there's a gear in there somewhere that uh, we need to get. Oh, well, one more delivery, I think. Yeah, this is the final one. Make it around the turn. I've barely touched the brakes from the latter half of this... <laughs> Of this race, but there you go. I, I love the worlds or the, the cities that you drive around. I don't know how accurate they are, but um, they are really very, very interesting places to drive around. Yes, I know we have some people. I don't really care. Can we? Can we not skip you? Oh no! Apparently, apparently we cannot skip you. Yes. I, oh no! No, don't want to do that. Uh, oh, I pressed a button. Okay, I'm not used to the original Xbox controller either. It's a weird, it's a weird clunky thing. This not the uh, not the most user friendly. Definitely the uh, 360 and Xbox One controllers, much nicer things to uh, to use. This one a little bit clunky, but uh, I did love the fact that the original Xbox had actual triggers for accelerate on uh, on racing games. Pretty much the reason why I got an Xbox over a PlayStation at the time was because of uh, the uh, the triggers being good for for racing games. Oh, I spy some Renault Fives. I've pressed the change camera button. There we go, we want to get that view there. We're up against those. That's not fair, they might be slightly better than our, I don't actually know. Uh, everybody's spewing out uh, boxes everywhere. Uh, these races kind of work a bit like the uh, Midnight Club races. They're, you go around these checkpoints, but you don't have to do them in the order that the game recommends. If you can find shortcuts, you can find better routes through them. Now I believe 
on the most part, the AI will, as far as I've seen at least, the AI will take the kind of uh, standard route that the game's sending me along uh, at the moment. I haven't seen them take shortcuts, but I don't know if they do. I don't remember, haven't played enough of it to, uh, to be able to tell you that one. Actually doing really well in this race. Absolutely buggering off from, well, I say, say race, not, not really, uh... <laughs> It's not the most exciting of, of races where the other cars have completely and utterly pissed off. Uh, you can see there's not really a catch-up mechanic going on at the moment, otherwise we would have AI cars everywhere uh, around me, but uh, we have vanished off at the front of uh, of this race. Shortcuts are a fairly big, important thing. As, as you can imagine from uh, uh, the, the arcade racing games of the time, yeah, finding shortcuts was always always useful. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to... Oh, yes, I am supposed to be going this way. I could have left it another turn. Doesn't really matter. We're... <laughs> changing direction so quickly it feels so quickly down here oh crap we've missed uh we've missed a checkpoint slightly but i don't think it actually is going to matter because uh, this is actually a slightly better way of doing it uh really uh, let's go down here oh we're getting a little bit interesting uh, around this part oh don't turn into that wall hey we're going to be victorious fantastic uh yeah it was it was some good driving and i actually found a shortcut by missing my turning it's always helpful when you find a shortcut by missing your own turning. Um, right, what are we going to be dealing with uh, next? We've just got to... Ah, right, okay. So we've got to not break this parcel by the uh, by the sounds of it. So I've got to drive smoothly and, and don't crash, pretty much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure, I can, I'm sure I can do this. So we've got to drive... Uh, okay, we've got to drive and pick the thing up, and then I'm assuming we've got to drive... Uh, smoothly, uh, not bump into things uh, whenever we get to uh, wherever we go. Yeah, I mean, oh, good, yo, we're getting bounced around a little bit over there. Uh, perhaps not the uh, the, mo <laughs> the most sophisticated of missions so far. Oh, bloody hell, I didn't realise there was a wall there. Um, whoopsie. Uh, there, my bad. Sorry, we've already broken it a little bit. Uh, okay, no, we can't afford to... <laughs> We can't afford to uh, knock into the, uh, like the, the 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 street ornaments, like the railings and the lampposts and so on. And now we've got a person coming after me. That's really not. For you should really sort out your delivery drivers. Whoever is running this company, you cannot have your delivery drivers crashing into one another to ruin each other's days. That, that's that's totally not not good business, really. There is it. Um, please go away. I've run out of gears. Hopefully you have as well. Oh crap! That's a truck. That's not a little car. Oh bugger me! <laughs> <laughs> it's on its side! What is it doing? I don't know! Duck and weave! Okay, somehow we're alive. We've caused chaos. We're just fighting over delivery of a parcel. That's all we're arguing over. And chaos has been brought to Paris. Uh, oh crap, there's some roadworks here that we should be avoiding. Oh, I knocked over a... I dodged the flying truck. I dodged the bloody truck and it was a signpost. A signpost of all things that screwed me <laughs> over. Right. Okay, I was not ready for a truck. I will be honest. I thought she was just giving chase with a with the car that she was using earlier. Like the, the, the same thing as me, but no. We're going to have to dodge a truck. And the truck has a tendency to go on its side by the looks of things. Okay, let's try and bring less chaos to the, <laughs> the streets of Paris this time. Oh, and let's try not to crash into a wall immediately. That would also be a pretty... If I hadn't crashed into that wall immediately, I might have, might have fared better. Already he's got damage. I think I may have been turning corners too sharply. Does that do damage? I don't know. All these one-way streets are fun as well. Lots of one-way streets to navigate around in uh, in Paris. So uh, that's something to be uh, to be aware of. Never quite sure when you make a turning in one of these races whether you're going to have oncoming traffic or what you're going to be having to be worrying about. Uh, the truck is, is still giving chase. I'm taking my own route here, pretty much. Different different route to last time. Oh, we're going to run a little bit too deep into that corner. And we're taking out all of the scenery. Come on, Flea, you can do it. Oh, I thought we were going to have a little bit more grip. Fortunately, this time around, the truck has got lost. Ah, fantastic. That is what we want to see. Truck getting lost. Oh, brakes. Uh, okay, well, uh, there's, we overshot slightly. Quick, get back before the truck arrives. Hey! We got Sven his parcel, and we didn't get murdered by a semi-truck. It's, it's always, always good. Um, yay, you've unlocked the new undercover jobs! Woohoo! Okay, let's exit the menu, let's see what stuff we've unlocked. I think it's probably the final one of the delivery uh, section, maybe. Oh no, we've unlocked taxi driver stuff. Um, yeah, I, I never cared for the for the story particularly. Uh, you go through here to complete the complete this. I think you're supposed to be sort of like an undercover police officer trying to figure out stuff by being various different people. Um, <laughs> sure, shall we have a go at being a taxi driver? Yeah, I don't know. Oop, 
uh, I don't massively care about uh, about what's going on. Taxi, yeah, we'll, we'll try. We'll try the Paris taxi. Sure, uh, <laughs> it's going to be hopefully a little bit quicker than the uh, than the fleet. It'll be a little bit crazy taxi. Uh, it'll be very crazy around here. The kind of levels of traffic in this game are actually pretty impressive. You can have a decent amount of AI civilian cars driving around uh, at once, which does make these drivings. Uh, quite challenging uh, sometimes when you've got really heavy traffic. It also gets quite dark at night, very hard to see some of the some of the night races that uh, that can go on and uh, yeah that can be a little bit interesting with the with the relatively heavy traffics and uh, a night time can be a little bit on the uh, the tough side sometimes. Uh, we're bouncing our way across some grass. Ah that's where we wanted to be going. Hello! Oh I bumped a tree. There's a, there's a gear. We're getting down gears eventually. Uh, that's a forward gear, there we go, we've got gearbox is a little clunky from time to time. Uh, don't mind me, your taxi totally didn't didn't watch your taxi come bouncing across the grass at all. You could also be in a little bit more of a hurry to get to the car, possibly. Um, uh, <laughs> since you're going to want me to get to somewhere in a very short amount of time. You've taken longer to get in my car than I'm going to be driving you to wherever it is that you want me to go to, I suspect. No, I'm, I, I need to, I've got 40 seconds to get there, don't shout at me. You're the one that wanted me to get there in 40 seconds. You can't shout at me when I'm trying to get there in 40 seconds. I can, I can slow down, but we'll all fail. So screw you. You can keep shouting away. Right, ah, the Arc de Triomphe. Yes, let us drive straight through the middle. Isn't that the world's worst roundabout around here? Trying to navigate it. I don't have to worry about that because I can go through them. Uh, right, parked. There we go. Um, <laughs> strange, strange passengers we have. Uh, going on here. What gear are we in? Okay, so it kind of helpful if we put it in first before we, uh, ooh, okay, right, we'll take, go back up this way. Uh, yeah, kind of helpful if we put it in first before we stop, because it will set us off going on whatever gear we were in beforehand. That's okay. I can, I can work with that one, and break, and look, much more controlled. Admittedly, there was a puff of smoke as I locked everything up initially, but this time you didn't see me come crashing across the grass. So I would say that is a marked improvement. Although we are parked on the, <laughs> we are parked in the oncoming lane that he didn't really care about. I, again, I mean, I probably wouldn't get into a taxi that's just pulled up driving down the wrong side of the road. But there you go. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I am the only one that uh, is is like that. Uh, shall we go for some some scenic driving? I can't remember if we can get through here. I'm hoping we can. Looks like we can. Woo! Bouncy, 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 crashy. Okay, we're fine. Look, we're fine. We're just exploring the Parisian landmarks. There's a gear in there somewhere as well. Oh, do we get to go and play with the Eiffel Tower? Uh, no, not quite. Uh, <laughs> I am the best taxi driver of all time ever, I suspect. Right, there we go. Um, I love how... <laughs> No, no mention of the fact that we just attacked a, a, a French landmark and that we may have got quite a lot of airtime and bounced around. I imagine that wasn't the most comfortable of journeys. There is a health bar that uh, you can see underneath the uh, speedo. Uh, that uh, if I get that to full, to full damage the car, I guess I'll fail the mission. The car will, the car will stop working. It tends to take a fair old beating though before it can, uh, before before it'll explode. I think there's a half decent damage model as well for the cars here. Oh god, hurry up, woman. Get in the- oh, you can skip the cutscenes. I didn't realise I could do that. Uh, <laughs> right, we've got- uh, oh, we've got a minute and a half to get to wherever we're going. Okay, let's see how- uh, there must be a, a fair- <laughs> So the, the old woman- uh, why have you got so much time? Is the time accumulating? Perhaps it is. The old woman is fine with me whizzing through the streets at um, 100 or something miles an hour, but everyone else doesn't really like it. Cool, fair enough. Uh, brakes, turn, there we go. Um, we've managed to... That was really not... I think the um, time must be accumulating or something, yeah. Uh, because that was a really rather straightforward one. Uh, where do we want to go next? These streets are re <laughs> really very much like a maze. A lot of times, games, when it comes to building open world, they tend to build uh, an open world to be nice and flowing. Take Forza Horizon, for example. Both of, the, both of the Horizon games have got these lovely long flowing roads that, yes, you can drive cars really, very, very fast on them. You know, you can take the supercars really quickly down some of the uh, some of the roads, but you never really get any tight, twisty sections to go exploring or to have fun in the, uh, in the lower-powered vehicles. Whereas this one... This game wasn't built with that in mind. The cities, I don't know how accurate a replica they are of the real places, but um, the, the cities are very, well, they're very city-like 
almost. They're, they're a lot more technical than you see from a lot of games, which is why I very much enjoy uh, messing around on, on here. Yes, we're taking this route because I can. That's also a solid uh, a solid place. There we go. Our taxi can get up here. It's fine. It's, uh, it's the shortest route for you. Um, possibly how where is the oh it's around the other side i thought it was inside that uh, that bit over there never mind we're, we're all good we're all good and parked hey my bonnet is starting uh, starting to come up the damage is not bad for such an old game certainly oh crap we got one more i thought that was the final one my bad i wasn't paying attention oh sorry sorry sports car it's fine you guys can run out of the way uh, oh that's a wall that's a really solid wall can we we can kind of jump our way forwards there if we kind of bounce the car off it eh, it works either way we are free uh, cross traffic is a pain in the ass there's lots of tr cross traffic in this game uh, most of the time nowadays games tend to come up with a with a way of not letting you get too infuriated by cross traffic because they'll like stop cars before they get to the right point here no it'll throw all of the cars it can imagine at you uh, so <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal and hope that you don't time it wrong and uh, get screwed over by the uh, by the cross traffic or screwed over by your own poor poor driving not sure why we we're all stopped up there i hit a building because i thought i had more turning than i did um right 47 seconds left to pick up this person and on the brakes again uh, don't mind the fact that the bonnet's not on the car anymore okay it's totally nothing to do with uh oh we've been crashed into while we were sat there parked well done well done ais um uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. You may also see these random names popping up uh, all over the place. That is for paint jobs. Uh, ooh, out in the world, you can uh, unlock various... I've really taken a wonky route for this. You can unlock various uh, liveries for all of the different cars. You have to find them, though, in the world. You have to find a way of reaching some of them as well. There's some big jumps required to uh, to get to the uh, to some of them. Anyway, I seem to remember. Uh, right, we'll get our final... Passenger delivered here. Ooh, and we're not quite gonna. That, that, that was parking. Just it was on the footpath. Do you mean you, you should be okay with that? Um, there we go. That'll do. Hey, we made it, and only small chaos was bought to uh, to Paris this time. I get the idea of the, the career mode, though. I think the events get gradually more get tougher and more interesting the uh, the further you go. We're gonna go back to the menu though to have a look at uh, some of the races. It's kind of uh, almost three career modes. You've got the main kind of undercover stuff over here that there's plenty of, uh, no, plenty to do, a decent amount to do over there. And then in the uh, the single races, you've got you've got the cruiser, just a free roam, Blitz, which is like a time trial, and uh, Checkpoint, that is the actual racing. And again, they've each got their own uh, different little races to go and compete in. Uh, I, I did a couple of these uh, last night. We're going to go... Here, now the vehicles. It's an interesting car list. Some some interesting vehicles. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, kind of like the racy version of the Beetle. Uh, Mini Cooper. We've got an old Renault 5. An old Opel Astra, just for good measure. Why? I'm not quite sure, but it is in there. We've got a taxi, in the uh, correct colours at least. Uh, a garbage truck as well. And a bus. I figured we should go racing with a bus. I can't remember racing these kind of vehicles particularly when I played this game a long time ago, so... This should be good fun. Oh, look, we're going to be taking the bus onto... Is it the motorway around there? Or the, certainly the, the the bigger roads? I think Paris has a motorway that goes right around the outside of it on here. I don't think Washington has motorways? I can't remember. But uh, the AI will pick suitable vehicles. So if I go in a bus, they'll go in a bus as well. Or if I go in the garbage truck, they'll go in, in the, similar, the similar vehicles. Right. Okay, bus. Uh, do we have a... Rev counter on the bus? No, no, we do not. So it is just kind of guesswork. Sure, I can deal with that. Ah, oncoming lane. Uh, <laughs> what a sight. What a glorious, glorious sight it is. Racing through the heart of Washington. With, oh, there's been, there's been some bumping back there. There has been some shenanigans going on. These buses can shift. We're up to 90 miles an hour already, and I am losing the rest of them. I do seem to have a little bit more speed in them, and I'm actually out of gears now. Ah, okay, we ran out of gears at 90 miles an hour. Eh, slightly disappointing. I would like more speed. I would like a super speed in my bus. Eh, well, the, uh, <laughs> the, the AI, the, the traffic cars are not going to be getting in the way. It's, uh, yeah, it can get quite dark in, uh, 
in in some of these races. I think the capture is slightly brighter than I'm currently seeing on my TV. But uh, yeah, it can get a little bit on the uh, on the darker side, especially when it gets to night. It's just sort of pitch black, and you really from the third person camera views, it just doesn't work very well doing the night races. So I'll, if if we come across one of them, I will have to switch to first person. Kind of yeah, a little bit difficult to see sometimes where cars are that you're trying to dodge. One of the night races I was doing had us had us crossing some some roads and literally the headlights were just kind of illuminating the little bit ahead of you you couldn't see if there were cars coming from the left or right so it just kind of go forward and hope ah there is a car over there oh there's a lot of cars over there we're going to play in the trees and take out some street lamps it's fine we're in a bus it's not going to do uh too much harm the ais are really not very fast with the buses either it seems I was hoping for some carnage and, and, and mayhem and, well, okay, there we go. Kind of dealt with some carnage and mayhem. You there, we can, oh, I was kind of hoping to deposit him off towards the side. It didn't really work. Uh, I love how the, um, yeah, kind of like the civilian cars are sort of slightly made of paper. You can really punt them around and punt them a decent distance as well. Look at him go and it does like nothing to hamper your speed. Also, don't look too far in the distance. It, it, it's not the, um... The pre I say it's not the prettiest of games. It hasn't aged quite as well as the likes of Forza and uh, Underground 2. It's, yeah, it doesn't look quite the greatest, especially if you start looking too far into the distance. There's kind of just these flat um, mess of colours, really. But uh, it's still a very good fun game to play, it's just not exactly the prettiest anymore. Uh, through the gap there, we'll just shunt the cars out. They make absolutely no difference. I've also already taken one bar of damage and that's it. The the, uh, the cars really have, have hold no fear for the mighty bus as we've just gone and crashed into the uh, the oncoming traffic there. Okay, apparently with buses it's, it's, it's relatively straightforward. Didn't <laughs> I, w I was kind of hoping for them to put up more of a fight really. With the normal cars, the AI seem fairly competent. I also love how the loading screen We've got uh, whichever vehicle it was that you were using last. Get some interesting pictures with some of the cars going on. Shall we have a go with the garbage truck then? Let's see what uh, what what shenanigans we can cause here. Fortunately, we haven't quite got an orange and black one, so we're going to have to go for an orange and white one. That'll do. Hopefully, ah, this looks much more like it. Uh, much tighter, twistier race, this one. So it's not probably going to be flat out the... In well, it's going to be flat out most of the way. Even with these, uh, even with these vehicles, they do still tend to turn... Uh, quite well. It was also quite cool that uh, this game had as many licensed cars as it did. Um, game manufacturer, sorry, car manufacturers sometimes be, can be quite funny about having their cars in games that have uh, plenty of crashing and and, and so on. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one here we've got fully fully licensed cars alongside you know the things like the dump trucks and and whatnot. This is uh, this is one of the night races. It is quite bloody difficult to see where I'm going. Which one is that? Headlights. We definitely want headlights on. Right, we're going to have to go to a bonnet view for this, so I actually stand a hope in hell of seeing where we are going. Now, these races, you can go, as I said earlier, you can go through whichever checkpoints you want in whatever order. Uh, so if you think you can come up with a better route than the vehicles you are racing with, go for it. So there's plenty of scope to, uh, to, to create courses if you fancy. I don't know this route particularly well. Ah, sudden appearing van sideways. I'm guessing the uh, lead truck has uh, deposited him for me to uh, find. Can we catch up with... What is he driving? Oh, he's got a little van. That's cheating. You've got a security van. Oh, apparently security van is very tough. I may have tried to put him in the wall for cheating and using the smallest vehicle out of this large vehicle race. But, um... Yeah, he kind of won that won that <laughs> argument. Where has he gone? Oh, come on, accelerate faster, garbage truck. I could do with a, a rev counter would kind of be quite nice with this, as I'm not sure whether it wants me to be in a lower gear or whether fourth gear is good. I mean, fourth gear is kind of working. There's a pickup truck there. Um, I think we can cut across. No, we can't cut across that. That's bloody solid. That's not where I thought it was. Uh, there was green. I thought it was just going to be a grass area. I was committed, and it didn't. It didn't end so well for the garbage truck. We have now lost the bonnet. Um, still not really done any kind of damage to the thing. We still only got one bar of damage. If we turn the, <laughs> turn the headlights off, yeah, this it, it, it's pretty in tough conditions for for racing in at uh, night. Most of the the scenery stuff is destructible. The trees, you don't actually break the trees. You kind of drive through the trees uh, and bounce through the trees. So you don't really want to be going near them because it can bounce the car sideways and cause you some issues. But uh, you're not going to get stuck on anything aside from the buildings. Like all the lampposts, all of the, the fire hydrants, the bollards and so on. Pretty much everything is destructible. And as you saw, the cars are hardly... Um, 
yeah, the toughest things in the world, so you can push them uh, about. I think I was around the outside. Okay, we kind of got a three-way battle for the lead between a garbage truck, a semi-truck, and the uh, armored car. Going down here, I think I went around the outside of the uh, armored car. Oh, that's a big bumpy bit in the middle. We may have we may have got ourselves into some into some small issues and blocked the entire road, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I think I may have also rolled it. Uh, oh no! Come on, release, release the garbage truck. Go! Oh, we got overtaken by another one. No, Fred, come back here. Uh, <laughs> I think I may have slightly rolled. Um, yay! Well done, me. I guess. Uh, oh. Careful now, don't end up in that line of parked cars. I wasn't expecting there to be like a big central reservation bit there where I turned the corner. And uh, we may we may have hit that ever ever so slightly. Okay, we've got like two check got one oh uh, we've got one checkpoint to, to bring it back. We're not going to bring it back. Oh We're going to have come in fourth, I think that one. I think that one was. Oh dear, what a shame. Uh Let's go and have a look at. Uh, I'll go drive a, a normal car for the uh, for the final race. Uh, in in this one, sure, we'll go we'll go over here. Oh, there is weather as well. Weather effects in here. There is rain and there is snow as well, depending on the seasons. We'll go with the uh, we'll go with the Beetle. It's actually quite a nice car to drive. This, uh, but never thought I'd say that about a Beetle. But it's actually quite a, <laughs> quite a nice car to uh, to drive. Yeah, um. I'm not actually sure if the weather effects make any difference to the cars on here. I can't remember. We'll quickly find out if they do or not. But yeah, there is there is rain, there is snow. There is even a car football pitch. Not that I can remember where it is. In Paris somewhere, there is a, a football pitch with a giant ball um, that I do remember you could mess about with and have some fun. Uh, have some fun on. Um, oh, I, for whatever reason, thought the car wasn't going and that it was in neutral. Uh, well, we've got a little bit of work to do uh, down here. Are we, are we slidier? In the wet, oh, we'll, we'll wait until we get to the first quarter. If we can't take the first quarter flat out without spinning, then the chances are it is slide here. But uh, if we can, then I think it's just a visual effect. Uh, right. Uh, oh, there was actually a little bit of sliding. There was a small bit of sliding from the uh, from the beetle in uh, in all of that, which I wasn't quite expecting. But okay, uh, it's only a tiny bit, a bit like Horizon 2's uh, <laughs> rain effect. It only makes a tiny little bit of difference. But there we go. Okay, we're going around here. Oh. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not very much, but I think the car, yeah, the back end will, will, the, the back end will actually let go, whereas, uh, normal conditions, you can turn at pretty much 100 miles an hour wherever you want, and the car will have a mile of grip. Uh, ooh, okay, we may have missed that checkpoint. Oh, this race has not gone well at all. Okay, let's just have a quick, have a quick restart. I do seem to remember some of the races in this got really difficult really quickly towards the, uh, <laughs> towards the end. There were some really arsey races to uh, to try and do it could be that i was just inexperienced at games back then but um yeah i do seem to remember there being some quite difficult quite difficult races it seems that we are racing against we've got that looks like a saab i believe that is the 9-3 i'm pretty sure the saab is in the game i think i saw an audi estate car as well i do remember the audi i love the audi the um oh god is it the rs2 event or is it the rs i think it's the rs2 i can't remember the audi estate cars naming schemes uh, <laughs> oh crap right into the back of a blooming ai car uh yeah i i seem to remember that audi was in was in here uh lotus spree was in here kind of like eldorado uh there was a coinseg as well the, co the, the very first coinseg was uh was in here, which was very, very cool to have that uh, in a game to drive around. There are cars on their sides. This is a typical, a typical fail race video. I have managed to roll myself over once, so yeah, proper, proper fail race approved game. This one. I want to kind of do better than third though here. Uh, yeah, we do definitely have to be a little bit more careful in these uh, in these wet conditions. Also, these are some seriously, seriously narrow, <laughs> narrow corners to uh, be navigating around. Uh, right, can we make a pass? Can we get an overtake done anywhere on these cars? They're doing a pretty good job. As I said, that goes straight into the wall. I have made a pass. Oh, and the lead has crashed. Ha <laughs> ha! I shall inherit the lead because everybody did a worse job than me at navigating that one narrow section. Although there is a pickup truck there that probably not a good idea to go too soon when there's you never know when cars are going to pull out of the junctions. But I was victorious. Oh, is that a Chrysler Crossfire? It looks like there is. Um, let's go have a look at the, some of the cars in here. Yeah, I know I've beaten the best time because it's the only bloody... T <laughs> it's the only time that uh, I have set on the course. Yeah, I mean, the, the car list was pretty pretty decent uh, on here for 
for what it is. Uh, I think we have to go forwards into this, don't we, just to have a look at the at the car list. So you've got buses, there's fire trucks, a cement truck, the armoured car, uh, the, the big semi-trucks, Hummer, I forgot about the Hummer being in here, the flea that I drove earlier, a limo, <laughs> Cadillac Escalade, ambulances, uh, some more taxis and a police car from both countries, the Chrysler, the PT Cruiser is uh, here, it's an Eldorado, Chevrolet SSR, this was a funky looking pickup truck that uh, was uh, was really quite cool sub 93 audi tt chrysler crossfire audi s4 there we go s4 event I, I just about remember the numbers 67 mustang corvette z06 lotus esprit uh viper srt town i don't remember the viper being in here but there you go the viper is in here and uh, the Coenseg CC. And a pretty good car list for for an arcade game. Uh, I'd have to spend a while going through to unlock all of the cars. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty decent car list. It's good fun to drive. It's very arcadey, as I said. You know, most of the time you spend uh, spend flat out going going through some of the uh, the tighter corners. Uh, but it's it's just one of these good good fun games to uh, to play. It's as much fun as I remember it. Uh, kind of messing about. Some of the races do get very very tricky. I think the career mode may get slightly repetitive as you go through it as well. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> a really a really rather a rather good fun game this one. And the actual cities themselves are fantastic. They're just incredible places to uh, to go and explore and, and to drive around. There's very very few games have come close to the kind of the intricateness of the uh, cities on here. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.